Well, finally, there is a, a keyless entry system available for Class A's. This is the uh, Atlas Lock from RV Lock. Now, if you own a Class A and you've looked for a, a keyless entry system, an aftermarket one, they're just not available. But um, RV Lock released this uh, August, September 2022, and we're going to see uh, what it takes to get it installed. Now, I pre ordered this uh, when it first. Uh, came out, I heard about it from a friend, said, hey, this might fit your rig, but I haven't had a chance to install it. So let's uh, see what it takes to, uh, to replace this and just start pushing buttons instead of using keys. So when we first uh, picked up this uh, Class A motorhome, you know, I, I wanted to find a keyless entry system because we had one on the Class C that I installed a few years ago. I started looking for something for the Class A as well, and I just couldn't find anything that was available. I was really happy to see that, uh, that this finally came out. So on the RV Lock website, they have a fitting guide. So you kind of go through and you pick from some of these uh, pictures to say, hey, does your lock look like this, if it does, this might fit. Uh, mine did, and uh, some of the measurements they had you check uh, seemed to check out. Now, it wasn't available at the time I ordered it, so it was a pre-order. I had to wait about a month or six weeks before it actually showed up. A couple things about this lock is that it is just for the deadbolt. Uh, it's not for the actual key uh, door latch lock, so it's gonna automate the deadbolt portion. Also, Got a little battery in here that's rechargeable. So it's got a little USB-C uh, port here that you can just plug in a cable and, um, and recharge it. It comes with a little USB-C charging cable and a couple of uh, programmable fobs that uh, you, know, you can put on your keychain and just click, unlock, and lock the lock. And also you get this nice little, uh, this little tool for reaching the uh, adjuster bolt that's inside the locking mechanism. So you just need that to, uh, to adjust it uh, when you first get it. Let's uh, go ahead and take this apart. Here's the keys, they're kind of zip tied here. I'm gonna cut those off and we'll take it apart, connect these things and see if it actually works before we uh, install it. Pull this apart. Oh, I gotta remove this little red thing. Let's get the keys off of here. Comes with two keys. Now inside there's a little uh, plastic tab here that will engage the battery. It's got a little battery in here. I think we just pull that out and should be able to power this thing now. Connect these pieces together to engage the lock. There's two plugs. I heard a little beep. The default uh, code is one, two, three, four. So let's try that. One, two, three, four. Unlock. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Lock, it should go back out. Doesn't go very far. I guess it doesn't have to. So it makes some noise, so I think you can turn that off by pushing the one, but we'll just leave it on for now. Okay, so we got door latch key, and we've got the deadbolt key, which is the same key. So yeah, so right now my key has a separate uh, deadbolt and door latch key. So having just one key now is actually gonna be a, an improvement. So let's go uh, remove the old lock and see if we can uh, get this to fit in that spot. All right, so it looks like I have uh, some little Torx bits. I need to find one that fits. And also on the side here, there's a little cover over where this uh, adjusting hole is, so I need to figure out how to pop this off. I can lift up an edge here. Maybe I can get a little screwdriver under there. All right. 
Yeah, see there's a little adjuster bolt inside there, so that's that's what we want to see. So these are little torque screws on mine, so they're not standard uh, Phillips heads, so I had a Torx bit that fit. You could probably use a Phillips on it, just may not fit perfectly. Now I drop anything here. Okay, I got screws out. Put them in my pocket. All right, so they give you this nice little tool just for this. Fits in there. Back off that bolt and should be able to get it out. All right, so the nice thing about this little tool is it's got a little, little socket area to catch that bolt and it's gonna be handy when we actually thread the new one back on in the new, uh, in the new lock. All right, there it is. All right, just gonna stick it back on here just to keep from losing things. Clean it up a little bit. <laughs> 19 years of not ever being removed, so yeah, a little tidying up. Okay, Let's see if we can fit the new one in here. Now there's a little latch here that locks it into place. It's this little thing. So let me move the camera around so you can see this. Hey, all right, so this goes in just like that. So there's this little ledge here on mine. So the deadbolt is gonna line up right here. And then, wow, this fits really nicely. I was wondering if I'd have to make any adjustments. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. All right, so because of this little latch here, I don't think it's gonna fall out. Okay, the first thing I need to do here is uh, take the little tool and remove the nut from the back of this adjustment arm so I can fish it through this little hole. Again, it's a locking nut, so it's not completely loose on here. A little bit of tension. All right, do the rest by hand. I'm gonna put this in the pocket. All right, so let's reconnect the power cables. This big one. A little bit of finessing here to get this in the hole. Okay, so I have the uh, the adjuster here. Fish through this little hole that's going to operate the uh, locking mechanism. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the little nylock nut back on it, and that should hold it in place. Just going to drop it into this little tool they gave us and then I should be able to just turn it on just enough to hold it in place. Ah! Okay, I can feel it. Okay, it's threaded on there just enough. Tuck these out of the way. Make sure they're not blocking any of the screw holes that I'm going to have to Put a screw through. There we go. Let's put this red cap back on the latch. That should keep it from popping out. All right, now I've kind of got it lined up here on both sides. It's got to make sure that deadbolt latch is engaged. There we go. All right, now this is where an extra set of hands would be very helpful. But if you're uh, like me, <laughs> flying solo on this, this is where some kind of clamp may actually come in handy. So do this and clamp it down a little bit, get it lined up.
Now if the clamp doesn't work out, you could always just use your head. <laughs> Let's do this. Where is it? It's right there. Woohoo! Okay. Almost there, I think. <laughs> so now we take our little tool out and we uh, tighten down this adjustment nut and hopefully we can get this cinched down so we can open and close this thing. Tighten a little bit more. Okay, that's too tight. So I'm gonna loosen it, back it off a little bit, lock it. Okay, I think I have it adjusted just right. So if I lock it here, it's locked down here, I shouldn't be able to open it on both sides. But if I unlock it, there we go, unlock it. The latch opens it there. And then I got my deadbolt up here. All right, well, I think it's all adjusted. Uh, seems to be working as far as the locking part goes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, charge it up because I noticed that uh, it was just moving a little bit slow when I was using the keypad. It's been sitting a few months, so it might be drained a little. All right, let's give it a try. I'm gonna go ahead and cl close it up. Okay, it opens and closes. That's a good start. Default code is one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Lock it. Unlock it. All right. Seems to be working. All right, so now if we want to reset the, uh, the code, we're gonna get something small like a pen and press and hold this reset button for a little bit. Okay, now we'll set the new code to five, six, seven, eight, press lock. We'll do that twice. Okay, had a long beep. I think it's set, so let's try it. Lock. There you go. Unlock. Now this also has a quick lock function, so if you just hold the lock button down, it locks it automatically. And if all that noise is bothering us, we can just hit the one button, hold it down. Beep, beep. I heard a beep, beep. And I think that's supposed to turn off all the, uh, all that warbling sound. All right, <laughs> well that wasn't too difficult. Uh, I'm glad I didn't have to make any modifications or you know, cut anything out to make it fit. So, and let me know what you think uh, in the comments and yeah, we're just gonna use it for a while, see how it goes. Take care.